And to Major's point about, you know, how are you going to detain these people, you know, we have a term for it, and we have an ugly part in our history that has to do with this, and it's called internment camps. And that is essentially what Donald Trump is proposing, even if he's not willing to call it by that name. And so what I think we'll see the Clinton campaign do is use this and use all this rhetoric against Donald Trump and show that there is no softer, gentler, gentler Donald Trump. And the same guy who is using all that scary rhetoric during the GOP primary is the same guy who is running on the as a general election nominee for Republicans today. All right, Liz, you want to weigh in here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, wow. Well, I'm not even sure if Leslie and I were listening to the same speech. I mean, <laughs> it, it almost seems like Donald Trump is living on another planet. Um, you know, the view that he, the picture he painted of America was so dark, so dystopian, and so at odds with reality. I mean, I don't even, I don't even know where to start here. First of all, when, you know, he promised a pivot. The only pivot I saw was a pivot away from his tone today with the Mexican president. Everything he said today was completely in line with the things that he said during the primary. And, you know, let's talk about deportations. He said that anyone who came here um, illegally is subject to deportations. That, to me, means that he is still open to the concept of mass deportations, rounding up, you know, 11, 16 million, whatever figure you want to use, rounding up these people using deportation forces that will raid schools, raid churches, raid communities, create mass chaos. He hasn't backed down from that. You know, stood by the wall. And then, then let's back away from that. Let's look at some of the language he used. He is describing human beings, human beings, people who came here for a better life as criminal aliens. You know, that is not language that, that appeals to anyone, but the basis base, you know, the people who have been preyed upon by politicians and opportunists like Donald Trump for years and been told that and that immigrants are the enemy. So look, um, I saw I saw no shift in tone here and I was completely shocked because I think this will turn off anyone who is not already firmly in his camp.